Hello everyone, today I'm making my prawn and coconut milk curry and I'm going to be serving it with my speckle salmon white extra long grain rice. Okay, let's start. I have a few tablespoons of olive oil and a few knobs of butter in my pan. And I've got one large onion that I chopped up finely. Add it. And because I have lots of curry leaves, I'm going to use it in this dish. And that is how, actually, the fundamental thing about uh, recipes is that what you have available or plenty of. So I'm going to add my curry leaves. tablespoon of garlic and a tablespoon of ginger give it a stir let this fry for a few minutes While that's frying, I also have 800 grams of prawns. I'm keeping the head on in the shell. It's deveined and uh, cleaned out. Okay. Onions have cooked down a little bit. And now I'm going to add a heap teaspoon of turmeric. A tablespoon of cayenne pepper, two tablespoons of paprika, tablespoon of masala, teaspoon of salt, and 200 grams of tomato puree. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of mustard, yellow mustard, hot English mustard. That is just my personal preference. And about a teaspoon of honey. And about a teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm going to add a bit of water and I'm just going to let this cook through until the water has cooked away. I'm going to add my prawns and my coconut milk and my dania. Let this just cook through a bit and we'll be right back. Okay guys, it's important to take your time here. It develops flavor and color the longer you do this. So about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to let it go for another few minutes. And then I'm going to add the prawns. Okay, so now you see the oil is separating from the onions. Then you know, okay, I'm ready to do the next step. There we go. Okay, I'm going to add my prawns. You can take off the heads and everything, but for me, it's just, that's all the flavor. Please make it to the way you like it. And you know, prawns cook very quickly. I'm going to add 400 milliliters of coconut milk. Okay. 
and once the prawn turns an opaque color pinkish color you let it cook just for about three to four minutes because it will cook in the residual heat of the curry sauce and then let this go you see it's still gray so now you just hang it in because you want a succulent prawn not too tough and one of the tricks also is I don't cook it on a high heat a medium heat okay then I add a lot of parsley I mean fresh coriander okay and then final squeeze of lime just a little bit to your taste you can use lemon as well and then I've cooked my rice as per packet instructions that I'm going to serve it with you can it's one cup of rice sorry one and a half cups of rice of the speckle rice here we go just so you know and this will be done just in a few minutes and we're gonna serve up and you're gonna see what it looks like be right back look at that guys let me just show you look at that okay I'm gonna switch off the heat like I said residual heat will cook it further And here it is guys, my prawn and coconut milk curry. Look at that. Yummy in my tummy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Bye everyone. <laughs>